In this video, we will investigate the question of how much of a floating object is hidden underwater. If you imagine some object with density rho O floating in a fluid with density rho F, a part of the object will be above the fluid surface and another part will be submerged in the fluid. So how can we find out how much of the object's volume is underwater? If the object is at rest, so neither sinking nor rising up, then the gravitational force and the buoyant force are in equilibrium. The gravitational force is given by mass times the gravitational acceleration, which we can write in terms of object density rho o and the object's volume. The buoyant force is given by mfg, where mf denotes the mass of the fluid that is displaced by the object. So mf is equal to the fluid density rho f times the volume that is underwater. If these expressions have to be equal, we can cancel g on both sides and get the ratio of underwater volume to total volume as rho o over rho f. Let's look at some examples to see this equation in action. First, consider a block of wood floating in water. The object density rho o is approximately 600 kilograms per cubic meter, and the fluid density rho f is around 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. Therefore, we get a result of approximately 0.6, which means that roughly 60% of the block of wood is underwater. This also works the other way. If you measure that some unknown material floats while 25% of its volume is underwater, we know that its density is a quarter of that of water. As a last example, consider an iceberg in the ocean. Solid ice has a density of around 917 kilograms per cubic meter, and seawater has a density of around 1030 kilograms per cubic meter. Hence, we get a ratio of 0.89, so around 90% of an iceberg is actually underwater. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.